Wake up. Wake up, creator. This is the beginning of your story. It starts with nothing. Nothing but an infinite void. However, you, with a single touch, can awaken the light. Here we go as our first god move. Oh! And so the universe sprang into being. Worlds filled with endless potential were scattered into the beyond. They formed into many different shapes and sizes. And while most were doomed to drift among the cosmos barren and alone, others flourished. These few planets soon became home to the greatest phenomenon of all. <laughs> oh, this is so vibrant. It's so cool. However, life is a peculiar thing. It comes and goes as swiftly as a bit of space debris burning up in an atmosphere. <laughs> oh, God, I got a fucking fright. A creator's purpose was always that of an observer, to simply admire the fleeting beauty of life's beginnings and ends. Yet, this balance could never last. The issue with allowing a species to evolve independently is that they always fail to do so. For life to have a better chance of succeeding, it mm -hmm. needs a helping hand. That would be me. Ah, here we are. Welcome to Mother Planet. This is a bare sight. For it came to be that there was day and night. Warmth and cold. And water to flow through the planet's veins. Ooh. The soil was rich with minerals which gave rise to a thick blanket of green. The perfect ecosystem was formed. It is no wonder then why life has chosen to inhabit it. A new species has been born and they need guidance. Uh -huh. This is your purpose now. Their very existence rests in your hands. Okay. Oh, nice. So we can spin the planet. Oh, it also moves like the sun. Um. Okay, so this is a different kind of moving around. WASD also spins the planet, but a bit more um, gentle like. Hold left shift and move around. What is it? Ah, right. Okay, so that's kind of like tilting on the Y axis. Ooh. So find a suitable location to place your epicenter. Your civilization will begin to grow around this point. For a better chance of survival, look for somewhere close to major resources like water, wood, stone and food. So we need to be like near water, have rocks. Um. I mean, I don't know how good we're going to be to begin with at, like, mining and stuff. Because, like, there's plenty mountains, but can they take um, rocks from the mountains? I have no idea. But this game is so good looking. Oh my god. Right. Um... I really don't know what this is, but I suppose we'll find out. So there's plenty of rocks laying about. The only thing is, I don't know, like, are these dangerous? <laughs> so 
So this is the epicenter. Right. Yes. Take a look at your new subjects. They're called nuggets. Largely because of their body's apparent inability to keep itself in one piece. So this is he and Elu, the oh. architects of their species. Ata he and Elu, the founders of everything that Nuggets will ever know or achieve. So they're like my Adam and Eve. Nuggets are all unique to one another. Although there are some things that are shared between Nuggets, these include the need for certain essentials like food and water, a stable roof over their heads, and Ooh. an occasional nap. They want to learn build, discover, and create. Where did this fence? would be quite inspirational if they also didn't happen to be the species that initially thought their shadows were trying to eat them. <laughs> quite a beautiful planet. Try not to ruin it, will you? I'll try. So they're building like a little house right now. Residential. Right, so I need to do this. Um, so I need... So what, what did it say? I needed primitive tools. Um, water wheel. Um, water flow study. And enclose the research panel. Okay, so now we just watch them build their little house. So this is like maybe where they worship me. Energy. So these are my, this is my power. It was at this point I discovered my godly powers and what sort of abilities I would have over these civilizations. And I just got straight into trying one of them. Well, I thought I did. Place the ground for your nuggets to live on. How do I do that? Maybe I'm not meant to do any of that yet. Of course I was completely wrong and I soon figured it out. Oh, what the hell did I do? So key buildings will need to be constructed by nuggets to begin. The process. Open the construction menu located above the research bar, okay? So I think I just accidentally blessed the land. A water pump. I knew if I wanted to protect my little nuggets, I would have to get some infrastructure in. So this is where I decided to put in some water pumps to help them get that clean, fresh liquid of life. So I'm guessing this, yeah, this has to go at the water. So open the, the menu. Select Le Cupid. Mm-hmm. Oh, is this our little house? Okay, so hold the control button and click on the first nugget. And then this one. I couldn't possibly imagine a better couple. So they've formed a family now. Oh, that is so cool. And just like that, our two originals of the civilization were now a loving married couple about to produce offspring to help the civilization grow. Water flow study. Research complete. Natural evolution is a wonderful thing to observe. Unfortunately, it usually ends poorly. We don't have time for that. Fortunately, you have the ability to influence your civilization's evolution and improve its chances of survival. Oh, they're humping. You can prioritize whatever your heart desires, but remember, 
that the heart is idiotic at best. So use your head instead. That's a pretty good motto to live by. Well, unless you're mining stone, of course. I hope you've been working on your beach body. You're not going to spend another summer... Um, we're struggling to agree on names for our little ones. Adahe keeps wanting to call them something trivial like stick and stone. And I'm about ready to break his bones. I suggested some more appropriate names, but he believes I'm trying too hard. Can you help us? Yes. Just lazing around, are you? So, how do I name them? Hello? Um, we'll call him... Alum. I don't know why. And we'll call you... Salam. <laughs> oh. Elu's faith in you has increased. She loves her new names. Yay. Wait, can I research more things? Maybe fire? What is this? I mean, I really have no idea what I'm doing. Is this my research points? Earn discovery points by sending your nuggets on ex expeditions or building certain buildings and it can be spent instantly. So I've got 15, so let's give them leather buckets. Well, I, that's not even went down. I have no idea what I'm doing, but uh, we'll see if it lets me research these things. This water pump system is rather advanced for such a young civil... Um, reservoirs store excess water generated by water pumps for later use, as well as converting some of the stored water into clean drinking water. <coughs> When supply is insufficient or completely offline, such as a pump's freezing winter, reservoirs will keep your civilization running. I mean, sure, it's built out of rocks, wood, and a bit of string, but impressive uh. nonetheless. Unlike other water sources, wells do not contain dangerous bacteria and parasites. Your nuggets will surely appreciate having a stable stomach for a change. Right, so Ada, he's been, um, poisoned. I'm glad to see you taking such good care of your subject. So I healed him. What is that? So who's this? That's Salem. I really hope those wolves don't come anywhere near us. It was now time to build the nuggets, a place to store all that water that they were collecting. So I mean, that, that kind of looks... Efficiency 100%. Right, go for it. 
And in my haste to become a benevolent god, I somehow ended up creating a spinning vortex of debris and energy. <gasps> Oops, I thought I was picking up rocks. Apparently being a god's not as easy as you would think. Don't... Do I not just have like a... Um, rock button? A pick up button? Water dozing. I don't know why I did that Is because... This what counts as research nowadays? Someone just scooped up some mud and decided to paint the first thing that came into their head. <laughs> Actually, it isn't the worst idea. Well, there you go. They're getting artistic. Leave them. Reservoir is complete. Right, so this should fill up with water, I think. What is this? Atmosphere, pollution. Nuggets don't overreact to the falling leaves this year. You might think that nuggets call autumn fall because of the leaves, but in reality they do it to remember the incredible face plant performed by Joe a few years ago. Okay. I mean, I don't know how to keep them happy, to be honest. And as their god, you soon learn it takes a lot more than healing skint knees and cut fingers to keep them happy. That much, I can tell you. Oh god, they're at it again. Do not disturb. Jesus Christ. Little horny devils. So, they've learned fire and everything. And they're going to be learning primitive cooking. So that's fine. Shamanism. And maybe cooking utensils. I actually don't know how this research works. I thought it was this, but... I have no idea. Number of nuggets that believe in me. Should all believe in me. Oh, would you look at that? A little baby nugget. Aren't they adorable when they're young? Don't get too attached, though. They're still mortal after all. Plus, they will soon be old enough to have an opinion and make questionable life decisions. Let's see how much you like them then. <laughs> and with that, guys, we've reached the end of the video. We've reached a healthy population of five. If you enjoyed the video, please do leave a comment and a like, and I will see you in the next one. Wow. 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 Wow.